that thing was loud. It's Project Steel. I'm back again here for another episode. And I've off camera gathered everything I need to make the Cyclops, except I need some enameled glass. To do that, I need some stalker teeth. So that's what I need to do right now. Um, I was just sitting here in this chair, and it's something I don't know if you know, but if you're sitting in a chair, you don't lose food or water while you're sitting. So that that's always good. Um, I've got what I need on me to make a scanner room. Uh, titanium, copper, gold, table coral. Nothing, uh, nothing complex. Just need to figure out where I'm going to put it. Welcome aboard, Captain. Not going to be able to put it on this side. Uh, let's see. Yes, I have to put it here. Oh, come on. Uh, I forget how do I turn this. There we go. And we really just need this to, to find the stalker teeth. It'll make it a lot easier. Our whole base hole strength's getting a little low. We don't need to worry about it yet. We're not at that point. But we're getting there. Alright, so we need some stalker teeth. Let's see if there's anything in the, any in the area that will show up as an option. Right there. That's not far from here. Now I need to have the chip in my head for me to this HD. Oh no, I need magnetite. I wasn't planning on that, but that's okay. We can go get some magnetite. The best place to find that right now is going to be down in the jelly cave, and I think. Yeah, we'll, we'll go down. Welcome aboard Cal Systems Online. That right there is one of my cameras. The scanner room comes with two, maybe three cameras. And the stalkers have already pulled it off of there, off the scanner room, and taken off the Because they just love the uh, metal. Alright, let's go find the jelly cave. Shouldn't be too hard to find. I know where I'm about where it is. Just gotta get a bearing here. What is this? What is that? Oh, bioreactor. Jelly cave. Mm, I might not be in the right area. Head back to here and I might be able to find it easier. I know what the area to one entrance of it looks like. Just gotta find it. around here until we see it. It's an area, you kind of have all three biomes joining the Plateau, I think. The safe shallows and the kelp forest all kind of running together. And that's where I need to be. No, 
Uh, there's also some wreckage above it. Might be around here. No, I don't think so. No, you know how I can find it though? One of these distress signals was there. Oh, we've got distress signals we need to go get off the radio. Uh, let's see, near cave system. That's the one. Oh, wait a minute. This is the spot I was looking for. I know where I'm at. No. Uh, no. No, I don't. Huh. Alright, we'll head towards this. I'm a little turned around, because the safe shallows... I think they do mix up the safe shallows a little bit each time. I'm not 100% sure on that, though. I think they do. The other biomes, I think, stay pretty similar. We'll find it in a minute here. See, my food and water look pretty good. Oh, look! My uh, grab trap had picked up some metal. Scrap metal. One piece of magnetite. Uh, we're gonna grab a few while we're there. If we can find them. Should be hard. Okay, let's see here. I think that might be an entrance to it right there. You can tell because it's a purple zone. We haven't checked out that wreck yet either. I'm not sure how deep it is. I don't remember. So we need to keep an eye on that. I'm all right on depth. That's magnetite right there, a whole bunch of it. Man, couldn't get any better. 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen couldn't get efficiency any better. Greatly decreased. Right there. I bust this. Maybe get a diamond. Uh, oh man, this is just nice. It's like it's sitting here waiting for The me. conditions in this cave support a microcosm of unique, possibly predatory life forms. Detecting possibly an artificial predatory. structure somewhere in the region. Yes, yeah, since we're here, I was not planning on going for the uh, base that's down here yet, but why not? We're here. Thirty seconds. All right. Now we got to zip around because I don't remember exactly where the base is. It's in one corner of this place. There are big worms in here that will attack me. Let's grab this PDA. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Sell some more magnetite. New PDA data. Okay. Oh. Oh, I think he dove with me. Yeah, that's what it is. 
and then there's an opening, uh, a cave opening directly above it, so we can just head straight up to get back out. I'm glad we had put the, uh, already gotten the first depth module for this seawater, we wouldn't be able to zip around down here. It's all pretty much below 200 feet. I mean, we could have bumped along the ceiling, but it would, have, would not have been worth the trouble. You know, let me grab this real quick. Battery, it was worth it. Worth it. Alright, I gotta be careful here. There's a lot to scan here, usually. Ooh, that's the, um, what we need, the mod station. Oh, yeah. Come on, man. Oh, man. Yeah, you can get some now. You, oh, no. Oh, man. I got a little too cocky there. find an entrance right above it. By following these markers or not, they can get confusing when they're underground. We'll give it a try though. We're getting close. Efficiency well, obviously it has because the beacon is still on it going. I want to pull the sea moth around. Passing 200 no, I'm going to leave it there. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Welcome aboard, Captain. Alright. Oh yeah, we need this band, so this is good. Hey, do I see my battery anywhere? Drop it. Uh, drop it. Did he just hit my thing? Yeah, there's my stuff. Maybe I didn't drop the battery. Oh man, this guy's getting on my nerves. What is that? Is that my battery? It is. Float. All right, now we're good. We're good. Just keep an eye. On, I gotta keep an eye on everything here. Thirty seconds. Oh, I didn't know I had that. All right. Thank you. 
keep getting gold. Gotta watch out for these stingy things. More mod station. What is that right there? Mod station. 30 seconds. Another mod station. Here, get this PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Let's carefully go in here. Oh gosh. Integrating new PDA data. Water filtration station. That's taking a long time to scan. Blueprint acquired. Oh, this is dangerous. This is dangerous, guys. Thirty seconds. I got that other air tank. Blueprint acquired. Swap. Uh oh. There's no air in it. Crap, what happened? It's getting embarrassing, guys. All I wanted was some magnetite. I can't believe that. I mean, the first time the snake got me, that was me getting cocky. The second time, I didn't have air in the second tank. That was me being careless. Come on. 
scanned them when I was on the island. Let me go ahead and get this. Get some titanium out of it. Diamond, that's good. Diamond, yeah. I didn't like the sound of that. Pretty sure he just barely missed me. Time to get back to base. Let's go get the stalker teeth. Copper wire. 
Go get some table core real quick. Bye.
Well, that could not be any easier than... I mean, that's just... that's crazy. Alright. Let's see here. So, we're gonna drop off most of this right now. Oh, didn't mean to drop that. We only need two of these. Alright, I think... you know what, let me run to the scan room and cut this off. So that's gonna drive me crazy. Uh, hit the X. Right? As I'm hitting the X, did it? It does. Okay. Now, put in this one box everything I needed to make the Cyclops. Hopefully, I haven't forgotten anything. Alright. I hadn't made in the series yet any plastic steel. I made titanium ingots, so I made those, and then I've got the lithium, so we'll go ahead and make these right now. I think we needed three of them. We'll do that. Uh, I guess, hopefully I only needed two. Two of these. This is just glass and the stalker tooth. And the rest was just lead. Uh, advanced wiring kit and I think lubricant. Let's check. I think I'm gonna need to move that um, mobile vehicle bay also to deeper water. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. All right, well, we've got plenty of stalker teeth. Um, it's not a problem. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got the glass. Stalker tooth. Three more of these. One, two, three. I think we're good. Not a problem, not a problem. I was concerned for a, a moment. Alright, let's throw more of that. That. And that. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's go do it. We need to go to... This way. Now that we've got the Cyclops, um, next episode, we're gonna go get the prawn suit. And to do that, we're going to the Aurora. Well, this might be deep enough. We're gonna go get back on the Aurora. And we'll get the parts to make the prawn suit there. There she is! New blueprint acquired. Be advised, the Cyclops is designed to be operated by a three-person crew. Only experienced helm people should attempt Cyclops. to pilot this vehicle solo. One of my best, one of my favorite vehicles in all games. Let's go take a look at it real quick. Oh wow! I hope I can get in it. Kind of land in a bad spot. I can. Welcome All right, board. so we get in here. Here's our storage systems online. But I'm gonna completely redo this. I'm gonna build it into the setup of my iconic Brunhilde, which I have a video of uh, on my channel if you want to check it out. These are so small. I, I don't even need these. I'm gonna cover them up with better storage on both walls. And here's the bay where it will either hold the sea moth or the prawn suit. Can't really do too much in there. I'm gonna put more storage in here. Not gonna do too much in here. Come up on either side here, and this is the engine. Banging against my ship. Here's uh, upgrades for the Cyclops. You make those there. Power cells. Power cells here. Mobile 
vehicle bay, or not mobile, but the vehicle docking bay, just like we have in the base. Show, you can't do everything like you can in the base, but we'll show you what you've got here and you can unload it using this. This little room here, I'm going to put a bed here and a kitchenette here. And then here we are, I'm going to do a little bit of stuff in here too. Oh, that guy was hitting it. Let's go ahead and move this closer to home. our home base right there. We're just gonna move right above it and I'm gonna use the camera beneath. This camera's on the bottom in the front area. We're just gonna pull right up above it in the nice deep water where nothing's gonna bother me. Look, there's home. And the banana chips sitting up in there getting a full charge. All right, that's all I need to do for now. I've got a lot of work I want to do to this thing. A lot of work. I love this ship. But for right now, I'm going to call this an episode. Uh, I might offline work on this a little bit. I'll show you when I get back. But uh, you don't need to watch me run around gathering titanium and copper and silver and all that crap just to fix it up. So I'll bring you back when we get to the most interesting parts. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to the Aurora and go through that. Scan everything in there. Take everything that's now bolted down. And we should come out of there with the ability to build the Prawn soon. So I hope to see you again on the next episode. If you enjoyed this, please give me a like. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. So that you don't miss any more of the series as I put it out. I'll see you next time.